You know, we've done very well. Uh, I thought we started a, with a good tempo about what we did. I think um, losing Dean after about 15, 20 minutes that settled us for, for a little while. Um, but then I think we found our feet again, and um, you know, it's a good test for us. Clean sheet is a real positive. I don't really think we ever looked in too much danger. Um, you know, and just that cutting edge in front of goal was probably the thing that was missing tonight. What's the What's the news with Dean Keats? Um, it's, it's just a tightness in his hamstring. Um, so, well, we're hoping it's just a tightness. That's what he was feeling, and it's better than risking him and leaving him out there to get him off at the earliest opportunity. And uh, hopefully, it's nothing more than that. We were expecting to see uh, Dimitar Nevtimov in goal tonight. What, what's yeah. the latest there? What's the story there? Uh, the situation there is. Um, the legislation under the Welsh FA as opposed to the English FA, um, Nottingham Forest wanted a, an instant call back on, on Dimitar, um, which obviously came in, everything to sign and, and, and what have you on Monday. Um, and because we couldn't, we weren't able to, um, you know, the, the, the instant call back wasn't available to him, um, you know, they, they weren't happy with the deal and obviously have decided that, um, you know, it's highly unlikely it'll go through now. So that is, that is from, from Rexham's point of view and Forrest's point of view? Um, that's the way it's looking. I know uh, Tim Flowers, I was speaking to the goalkeeping coach there, was going to speak to Stuart Pearce and see, but, um, you know, Dimitar is effectively third choice and if they were to lose a goalkeeper and couldn't get him back at short notice, you know, clearly it's, you know, you know that we have to respect that their first team is, is, you know, he's their player and we have to respect that. How big a blow is that for you, Kevin? Um, yeah, you know, I thought it was it, it come in and be a, a real good addition to what to what we are. But um, it's one of those things. It's it's, it's, it's there's nothing we can do about it. The, the, the only way around it is a the, there are ways around it, but they they're obviously you know quite um, <laughs> awkward to get over. Uh, and I suspect, like I say, the deal won't now happen. But you know, there's one or two other irons in the fire. Ian's come in tonight and done very well. Um, so you know, I'm not panicking. Um, Andy Coughlin should be fit and training with us tomorrow. Uh, so, like I say, it's not you know it's not the end of the world. We we have got you know we've got Coffo to come in and play. Um, if I can find another goalkeeper, which I'm more than hope that I will do, um, you know we could still have another goalie on on board with us for August tonight. You're gonna have another look at Ian Dunbarvin because he's got a wealth of experience. Very experienced, you know. He, he brought a voice and a, and a presence to us um, that's. You know, I, I keep wanting to encourage, and certainly the younger element of the, of the squad need to understand. And he's coming there, and you know, as I say to the young boys, you, you, you know, as a trialist, you need to come in and make your mark. And earlier on in the season, in pre-season games, I felt we, 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 we were very quiet. <laughs> and um, like I say, Ian comes in there, he knows he's got to make a mark, and he's certainly done that tonight. Manny Smith, another commanding performance at the back there. What's the latest with him? Uh, He's done very well. I think he, you know, he was eager to come and train with us uh, yesterday. He's been and, and stayed over in the clubhouse. Um, you know, he's obviously I've made no secret that I'd like to get him on board. I think he offers something that we haven't got there. Um, that bit of a bit of experience, a um, bit of know-how, bit of pace. Um, you know, and it, it, again, I, you know, I do feel it'd be a fantastic addition to, to, to our squad. Whether you know whether we can get a deal over on that, I think the next few days will tell. Is he keen to come? He's loved every minute of being here. Um, he's joined his, you know, obviously he only played Saturday. He's come in and trained with us, and he's he's a quiet lad, but he's, he's made no secret of the fact that he's enjoyed being around us and being around the players. Um, so if we can, you know, if we can get a deal pulled together, then I'd be delighted. Daniel and, and Ty wasn't here tonight. What's the latest no. with him? Um, my priorities at the moment are kind of lie with obviously getting a, a centre half and a goalkeeper in at the moment, and you know, as I've spoken to his agent, you know, quite what manoeuvrability we've got outside of that. Again, time will tell if we can get them over the line or not, um, whether we can bring Daniel on board.